सो वी आर बैक टू अनदर वीडियो यस तो आज हम लेके आ गए डिफरेंट वीडियो है इट्स रिलेटेड टू क्रिकेट तो भाई क्रिकेट इज माय फेवरेट स्पोर्ट और सबका ही होता है तो ये वीडियो है व्हेन ग्रीड किल्ड क्रिकेट इन 1992 वर्ल्ड कप सेमीफाइनल साउथ अफ्रीका वर्सेस इंग्लैंड एंड जो लोग क्रिकेट के फैन हैं उन सबको पता है भाई साउथ अफ्रीका इज वन ऑफ द अनलकीएस्ट टीम मतलब जितनी भी टीम्स में है वो भाई बहुत अनलकी है और उसका ही एक ये चीज देखो मजा आएगा लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस वीडियो देखते हैं वीडियो कैसे और अगर आपको क्रिकेट से रिलेटेड अगर ये वीडियो पसंद आई तो वी विल ब्रिंग मोर वीडियोस क्रिकेट की इसलिए मेक श्योर यू लेट अस नो अगर आपको ये पसंद आई तो गिव इट अ लाइक एंड कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू एंड नोटिफिकेशन बेल अब बात हो गया लेट्स बिगिन 12 मिनट्स ऑल इट टुक वाज 12 मिनट्स to convert a thrilling semi final of a world cup 1992 world cup pakistan jeet liya the greatest Baha, pass pakistan. ever to be enacted in cricket to go from 22 runs in 13 balls to 22 in 7 to finally 22 in one ball huh? without a single ball being played cricket was being laughed at and what truly pisses me off is that all of this could have been avoided but they didn't because of money this is the story of the day greed killed cricket so our story begins late in 1991 south africa had just come out of its 22 year exile from cricket due to its apartheid laws and was slowly beginning to regain its cricketing presence still the chances of them playing in the upcoming world cup to be held in australia and new zealand seemed minimal was something that um you know we could only dream about being part of that very first ICC World Cup in 92 and going to Australia and New Zealand was something immense firstly because the time frame was too small but more importantly because apartheid laws were still not repealed in South Africa for those of you who may not know apartheid laws were a series of laws and legislations that were passed to segregate and discriminate against blacks mixed races and people of pakistani and indian origins they couldn't marry white people they couldn't vote and even forced to live in designated areas for not the country of white people written is the fact that before the diamond and gold industry has started the influx of colored labor south africa was a white man's country there the white man is the native not the black still the african national congress the party led by nelson mandela had lobbied that south africa be allowed into Legend. the world cup and the icc agreed on one condition they wanted a positive outcome on the referendum to end apartheid oh. it was a referendum in which 2.8 million white south africans were going to determine the future of 22 million people of other races oh. the problem was that this referendum was to take place during the world cup tournament so a compromise was reached South Africa would play in the World Cup but they would be sent back mid tournament if the referendum didn't succeed what going on in South Africa so we were not yet a democracy because we were told as a team ye baat hui bhai referendum is no we will actually have to we will be ejected from the tournament it was halfway through the tournament so 22 years of cricket exile and possibly the last few games they will ever get to play on an international stage absolutely no pressure right the 92 team i think john t roads could have to go back home so we just kind of played and enjoyed every single game legend was also there the defending champions australia in the opening match oh. and amidst glorious runouts and breathtaking knocks bahut sema se runouti wala against all odds had made it to the semi finals but whether they actually got to play the semi finals was to be decided in the referendum to be voted just before the semis and in that referendum 68.72% people had said yes oh apartheid had ended nice. and the country was reborn never great never mujhe laga opposite hoga and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another the stage was set for the south african cricket team to win it all and bring it home as the perfect gift for the inauguration of this new south africa and so started the match sydney cricket ground the venue for england semi final against south africa south africa won the toss and in a shock 
to English players, commentators and crowds decided to ball first. I know what you are thinking. What is the big deal? Well, the big deal was that there was a miraculous rule figured out by some genius to deal with rain interruptions. It was called the rain rule. Now, according to the rule, in case of rain, the least productive overs from the side batting first were to be removed. So, for example, if you played 10 maidens in the oh. first 50 overs and then rain reduced the chase to 40 overs. So, 10 over then now, as the least productive overs would be those 10 maidens, so, bhai, wo where no one was scored, to disadvantage hai, the target would remain unchanged throughout this World Cup. Teams had met with tragedy after tragedy after tragedy under this rule. The most absurd one was when England bowled out Pakistan for 74. That means they had 50 overs to score 74. Oh. But it rained for 3 hours. And according to the new rule, England now had to score 64 in 16 overs. Well, Ye kaisa rule hai bhai? that match was washed away. But there were many such incidences where this rule had practically destroyed games. It was like a plague to be avoided at all cost. And the South African captain winning the toss decided to take it on. When asked for the reason. Kepler uh, not too worried about the, the rain. Yeah, it is a calculated risk. But... Well, the idea behind this calculated risk was that they had won all the three games when they chased. Whereas they had lost three out of five when they were batting first. England, on the other hand, had won three out of four games while chasing, including one against South Africa themselves. So, South Africa decided to test their luck, especially since Calculated they would be risk. helped by another newly minted genius level rule, the time restriction. Now, in 1992, the co-host Australia was one of the most commercialized countries when it comes to cricket. Mm. And because of the profit that the, the organizers were earning through broadcasting rights, they had given up complete control over the match timings. So, in essence, a channel on a TV was going to dictate how long a match could go for. If they said that an inning should end by this time, then it should. He well, said. if you can't, the inning is over either ways. Okay. Just moved okay. to 6-10. Such a game should be over. So that is a tactic which worked very well for South Africa. This rule will have to be changed by the next World Cup. We can't have a side only. And that's exactly what the South Africans did. By the time the allotted hours were done, only 45 overs were bowled, but the innings was over. He got a cross, boy. That's a disappointing aspect. Now do understand here, the organizers at any point could have interfered with this and dealt with the financial complications to extend the time. No, but bhai, you know, na, that costs money. And how can a trivial semi-final of a World, World Cup, Cup stand in the way of money? This right? is absurd. Yaar. So, <laughs> the English Shocking. team was deprived of its log overs and South Africa just had to chase. 253 in 45 overs to win. But the English team wasn't going to take this line down. Enraged by the sheer absurdity of these rules, they went on full offensive. Wicket after wicket, very tight balling, they were determined to make each and every ball count. And finally, when the dust settled, I love the way the South way Africa is was left reeling on 131 the... for 4 in 27 overs. Nice. Still, Standing in front of this enraged players were players whose careers had got a new lease on life. If they had to go down, they would go down swinging. And swing they did. First, John T. Rhodes played an electrifying 47 runs of 31 balls, which was then followed by Macmillan and Richardson, who scored oh. 25 runs in the next 18 balls. This left only 22 runs required in 13, 13 balls. balls. The easy, match easy, was yeah? living up to everything Not cricket bad. stood for. Two teams hell-bent on leaving everything in the field. And then it started raining. The reason they are called the unluckiest team is one of the reasons 1982 as well. As the South African players slowly ambled back to the pavilion, seemingly hoping that they could just stay there, 
just for some more time the whole world was glued to their TVs waiting with bated breath hoping that all the players could come back out again hoping that they could just start exactly where they left off a match like this deserved to be decided on the field didn't it ब्रॉडकास्टर्स वर एडमिट The match had to be finished on that day itself. It's quite ludicrous that the captain of a team in the semi-finals Are you kidding should me? have to worry about such an imponderable. Can one forgive those that invented these rules for spoiling a world event? And Bhai, so jahan ruka wahi se start kar do yaar. The rule was applied. And the least productive overs for England. That means two brilliant maiden overs by Pringle would now come back and hurt them. And as if enacting a damn comedy even hmm. this information was relayed incorrectly the crowds and players were told that they still had seven balls left the south african players walked into the field to meet this difficult but not impossible goal and just then they were informed that they now only had one ball one ball to score 22 runs this is it decided there is only one ball remaining Although the official announcement was made uh, just a moment ago that there are seven balls remaining. The crowds went into an uproar. The South African batsmen were in utter disbelief. Even the English wow. captain was arguing about the sheer stupidity of the situation. But none of that mattered. Bhai aise jeet ke bhi kya jeete ho? मतलब इंग्लैंड amid the crowds jeers. They are also like ki nahi yaar it's not clear. The last ball This and is not true sport. Yeah. South Africans with an equally disappointed English players. They're not happy. Started walking back to the pavilion. Even oh, the England crowd behind them. Obviously, yeah, कौन जीत के खुश रहेगा? Still at no, 10-0. Obviously, बात है यार. It's a. It's not a world event. From the scheduled deadline. The deadline had been Dude. followed. But cricket had died. जिसने भी rule बनाया था ना bullshit. An outstanding show of sportsmanship. the entire south african team had come out to shake hands with the english players and for the sheer love showered on them throughout this match and the tournament they did a lap of honor for the jeeta wo match aa rahe bhai they were disappointed yes. because of one fucking stupid rule. rules were rules they said bullshit yes rules were rules but this were rules made by a broadcasting hmm. company a dream of a resurgent cricketing power had stopped in its tracks really? so i can't imagine the frustration and all that life. everything they must have felt this was the story then of the day cricket was killed at the hands of greed but they did the journey and just at the destination they were told you cannot enter beautifully narrated video yeah. bhai beautifully narrated i love हाउ ही नरेटेड एवरी थिंग एंड जो एक स्टोरी में एक नया थम्सा लेके आया ना लाइक मजेदार भाई ये ये रेन रूल के बारे में मुझे भी नहीं पता था अब तो अब तो ऑल दो ये रूल नहीं है डकपत दूस वगैरह रूल वगैरह फॉलो होते हैं और अब इतना सही सा हो गया कि अगर कोई जैसे डिसीजन अम्पायर देता है ऑन फील्ड तो आप उसको अगेंस्ट भी कर सकते हो मतलब उसके खिलाफ वो कर सकते हो लाइक यू कैन गो टू टू द थर्ड अम्पायर बाई टेकिंग दी एंड कि भाई मुझे डिसीजन मतलब आई डोंट एग्री विद इट तो आप डी आर एस ले सकते हो तो उसको दोबारा ये तो भाई रेन रूल और ऊपर से टाइम रिस्ट्रिक्शन वाला रूल दोनों रूल इतने बकवास है कि मतलब सोचो एक बॉलिंग साइड दिस इज कंप्लीट अटरली बुलशेट नहीं वाला रूल रेन रूल भी यार मान लो आपने 50 ओवर्स डाले 50 ओवर्स में से बॉलर्स ने मेहनत करके सामने वाली टीम के तीन चार मेड इन ओवर निकलाए उसके बाद एक दो रन पे रोका कुछ ओवर्स में तो वो बारिश आ गई तो वो वाले ओवर्स वॉश आउट हो जाएंगे जस्ट बिकॉज मतलब कहां का रूल है भाई ये डजंट मेक एनी सेंस ये ये पता वही होते हैं ना जैसे क्या ही बोलूं मैं लेट इट बी एंड 
एज एन इंडियन आई नो कि अगर इंडिया के बाद कोई ऐसी कंट्री है जो वी लव एज अ क्रिकेट कंट्री एज अ क्रिकेट टीम इज साउथ अफ्रीका एंड वेस्ट इंडीज दे आर दी दे आर एवरी वन फेवरेट अगर आप साउथ अफ्रीका की बात करो ए बी डी विलियर्स वगैरह भाई ए बी डी विलियर्स के अगर आप इंस्टाग्राम के फॉलोअर्स की बात करोगे ना जो परसेंटेज है उसमें इंडियंस ज़्यादा हैं रैदर देन दी साउथ अफ्रीकन्स और अदर कंट्रीज़ के जो लोग हैं तो मतलब हम भाई साउथ अफ्रीका के लिए तो इतना मुझे ऐसे पर्सनली फील होता है ना देख के आया कि मतलब कुछ भी हो एंड चाहे ए बी डी विलियर्स की बात करो कि मतलब इतने बढ़िया बढ़िया टीम इतनी बढ़िया प्लेयर्स बट येट दे आर अनलकीस्ट कह सकते हो उसमें से एक ये भी एक एग्जाम्पल था नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू का जो निकल के आया बहुत सही वीडियो एंड इफ यू लव डेट बताना कि और ऐसे वीडियोज लेके आएंगे एंड यू कैन फॉलो सोन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक ट्विटर सारे लिंक वहाँ पे फॉलो कर सकते हो और हमें बता सकते हो और वीडियो आपको कौन सी देखनी है एंड वन लास्टिंग आई शू रिमेंबर वन थी